I'm putting together some videos now. I've got a few. So um, three trips into Queensland so far this year. I'm back in Australia. And uh, this first one is, uh, I mean, if you've been, end up coming to live with me, live, live with me, uh, he lived with me for a couple of years. And he was, uh, and we wanted to get into the, get into the Harley and, and do some riding with me. So I, I did something that oh, nobody, nobody, nobody noticed at all. I didn't mention it. And nobody noticed it. But I brought another fat bulb. And uh, the original one I had was uh, 2011. 96 cube fat bulb. No, I did 60,000 kilometres on that. It's the one I rode around Australia. Ben brought me 2011, so he got him into a Harley. We decided we'd go to, um, go out to Brisbane. Instead of going straight to Brisbane, we went up through Broken Hill, up to up to Milchura, Broken Hill, and across to, across to Burke. I don't know how cool the, the goat road because there's literally millions and millions of these sort of miniature goats out there. They are everywhere. They're like flies. There's more goats out there than flies. You wouldn't believe it. And they're all over the road. So we went up to, uh, went to Mildura, up to Broken Hill, across to Burke, then up to Maury, Gundawindi, and up up into Queensland. Uh, it was for 5,000 kilometres in eight days. And you have to wait till the last video, but I really give them a I really give them the big test on the last day. Because you're right out you've done the long distance riding, we've ridden for days and days on end, uh, off the crappy roads, we've uh, been chased by the weather. So there's one thing you haven't done yet is you haven't done a thousand dollar thousand kilometer day. So the last day uh, I intentionally stopped about I don't know it's about eighty Ks north of Dubbo. I knew it left me basically exactly a thousand kilometres to get back home to Geelong. And uh, next I said, well, this, we'll see how you go on this one. So, and that, that last day, we just hammered it a thousand kilometres. No, he, he did it easy. Uh, so, I gave him a good taste, tried it through everything that I could at him, the type of riding that I'm doing. And uh, he loved it. Can't wait to do it again. But anyway, we'll get into this. And one of the big highlights is something I wanted to do for years is. Go to the Mad Max Museum in Silverton. Here we go.
the whole front of the museum, you're not allowed to take any photos, or any footage at all. The place, the roof, the walls, the ceiling, it's all lined with photos of um, a lot of the, the actors in the movie that actually met the owner of the, the museum. He was only given them on the condition that no one could take photos of them and reproduce them. If you walk in, you go, once you go through the front part, you go out the back, there's this big open area. There's the bus. Yeah, the gag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we spent a lot more time on that, but we spent a lot of time out the front talking to the owner and stuff, and uh, just you couldn't, you could not allowed to get any footage of that. So I can't show you that, but it's well worth the visit. It's uh, it's, like, it's 27 kilometres out of Broken Hill, so it's not far. Yeah, it is. Whatever's happened. Oh, I'll tell you what I did. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is all it was. Uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, worst Harley shop I've ever, be, ever been into. Bill Jura Harley Davidson. I was having some problems with my bike just wasn't running right and they wouldn't even help me, wouldn't even come out and look at it all. You know, I've, I've never never been in a Harley shop that um, wouldn't help a stranded traveller. But they wouldn't.
tune in for the next one. The go road, one of the most treacherous roads I've ever ridden in Australia. So tune in next time. Catch you then. <laughs>